Hello, everybody. My name is Brad Gilmore. And today on The Collection, we have a really special conversation with Taryn Killam. Taryn Killam, you might know him from The Amanda Show, How I Met Your Mother, Mad TV, New Girl, Saturday Night Live, or where I saw him first time, Wild and Out. Oh, yeah. We're going to talk about Wild and Out. But uh, he is here to talk about his new show, The NFL Pylon. It is the first ever, the first ever NFL comedy series. It's going on Amazon Prime every Wednesday. We're going to talk to him about that. I got to talk to him about Wild and Out. And he also played the husband of Paula Jones on Impeachment, American Crime Story. He's a very talented individual, very funny man. We're going to talk about his time at Saturday Night Live and all of that this time on The Collection. And he joins us right now to talk about the NFL pile on on Amazon Prime Video. Guy who I can honestly say I've been a fan of a very long time. Taryn Killam joins us this morning. Taryn, how you doing? What's up, Brad? I'm doing great, dude. How are you? I'm great. You know, it's it's great to talk to you. And I mean, we have a short amount of time and a lot to get into. But let's start with the NFL pile on because this is the first comedy show from the NFL. You're the host of it. It's on this massive platform. Uh, Tell me, how did this come about and how are you feeling about it? Because this is a this is a really big deal. And I think that can't be understated. Thanks, Brad. I, I, I feel that, too. And it's and it's something that I've longed for just as a football fan myself like anybody who who checks my instagram page will see that i've been screaming my head off at at rams home games for the last you know decade basically um and you know obviously love comedy as well and then feel quite accomplished in that in that genre so i've been just like putting out feelers for a long time but then this this opportunity came out of the blue um uh jason weber and chris peasy have teamed up to kind of produce this show, a recap, a weekly recap of everything football, like games, highlights, uh, uh, you know, like bungle plays, but then also fan videos you find online, funny tailgate stuff. So we're just, we're covering it, it, it all. And I say that it's like, it's like hanging out with your friends, watching the games, making jokes, but also your friends are professional comedians who are paid to be there. Well, yeah, I think that's kind of, it's just a really great concept because of course I like watching guys like you know terry bradshaw break down the games on on sunday with james brown and the guys but at some point i am not the biggest football aficionado i'm kind of the casual observer i'm a fan i don't know all the players i don't know all the ins and outs i just kind of want that laid back i can watch and i feel like you're not talking over me is that kind of what the show is exactly right yeah it's um you know it, it it's it's where Terry Bradshaw might tell you why a certain defense broke down, we're going to ask what the heck were they doing on the sidelines, you know, combing their hair, you know, <laughs> uh, like we're, it, it's more about the lifestyle stuff that we're looking at. And sure, if there's an incredible play, you know, for example, like Kyler Murray running around for what was sort of like calculated as 85 yards just to score two points after is a ridiculous thing that we're going to cover and talk about. But, but, you know, we're also going to talk about the Jets fan who's screaming in his parents' attic. Right. Um, and how has the NFL been as a partner? Have they been Have they been really involved, or are they kind of just um, letting y'all do what you do? No, Jason Weber from NFL Films, he, he basically, you know, runs all, all the tech, all the posts. We have access to their entire archives. Like, uh-huh. that's really what kind of makes our show exceptional for, for, for what it is. You know, I, I honestly, like, I will own up to the fact that there's there are a lot of like podcasts and 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 either YouTube or Twitch streamers who are doing, you know, comedy recaps. But being endorsed by NFL Films gives us access to this incredible footage, not from just this season, but from every season since they started filming things. So, you know, we're we're just getting started in terms of scratching the surface of of what we're able to do with the NFL support. And And it's a really, really exciting thing. The NFL pile on on Amazon Prime Video, of course. Um, you know, man, I've actually been a fan of you for a very long time. Uh, I first saw you oh, thanks, on, I'm serious, I first saw you on a show that was can't miss for me called Wild and Out. And I love Wild and Out so much. And, and to me, awesome. 
it yeah, launched cool. so many careers. Like I think that maybe not launch, but at least put a spotlight on so many comics and sketch comics. I mean, there was you, there's Cat Williams, D. Ray Davis, Avion Crockett. You know, I mean, the list goes on. Mikey Day, um, the Mikey list- Day, Pete Davidson. No, it's yeah. pretty. It's pretty impressive for sure. Like they found great talent, and they also found like very eclectic talent. You know what I mean for a for a hip hop improv comedy show. The, the roots spread far and wide through the industry. So, yeah, no, I, I, that was so such a fun show to do. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool to see where, what people have gone on to do, you know? Well, w- I've always wanted to ask this. And, and you know, I've had Mikey on before, but we, but we randomly talked about Back to the Future and Steven Spielberg. So let me talk to you about, about Wild and Out. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> let me talk to you about Wild and Out. For the wild style round, for people who don't know, this was like the freestyle battle, eight mile style at the end of the show. I know it was an improv comedy show is how it was produced, but th- did you think of your bars before you went out there? Did you have them ready? Were you, did you have you know, them in the tuck? The strategy is harder, harder than having bars ready. <laughs> harder than like spitting the fire is just getting your hands on the mic with when there's like 12 hungry, ambitious comedians like hovering around Nick. I think, I think kind of like the rule of thumb was like have an entry point like have like maybe one, two or three burns that you knew you wanted to get on somebody. But then if you watch the show, any of those freestyle comebacks, like there's no way you could anticipate what someone was going to rag on you about. So to me, that was always the most impressive. And Cat Williams by far was like one of the best ones to be able to like snap back, you know, in, 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 in the blink of an eye. Oh man, love that show. Loved it so much. And then, you know, then you and Mikey obviously got to work together on Saturday Night Live. He uh, told me about that really odd, awkward interaction he had with Steven Spielberg during the Jurassic Park ride sketch. Um, it was just a great story. Do you have any? <laughs> do you have any odd, awkward interactions with with some of the celebrity guests who came through? Because that stage, you never know who's going to show up. I mean, Brad, how much time do you have? <laughs> a couple minutes uh, with you, but um, but give, give me your really, best shot. <laughs> a really fun one. A really fun but certainly odd one was when Russell Crowe hosted. Every time, every time there's a host, um, there's like a Tuesday night uh, cast dinner to kind of get to know each other. And, and Lauren takes everybody to his favorite Italian restaurant, and we sit and we chat. We just kind of like, you know, it's a it's an icebreaker. And Russell Crowe was the first, only, possibly last host to bring his own punch bowl because he wanted to make what he called rugby punch for everybody. So we sat on his table as he brought in this giant, beautiful, impressive silver punch bowl and proceeded to pour, you know, bottle after bottle of booze into it and ladling cups full of this rugby punch to everyone around the table. And we're like, well, this is a first. <laughs> you know what? There's a first time for everything. And it might as well have been portrayed or done exactly. by Russell by Russell Crowe. Well, I was just gonna say, you know, when like when when Gladiator hands you a cup of spiked punch, you drink. You, you know, do, you do it. You do whatever Gladiator says. Uh, NFL pile on again on That's Amazon cute. Prime yeah. Video uh, on uh, every Wednesday at seven Eastern time. Uh, last thing with you, man. I just wanted to tell you, it's more of a compliment. I loved you, absolutely loved your portrayal of Steve Jones in Impeachment: American Crime Story. I thought, man, you really hey, brought exactly, it from an acting yeah. performance. It was really, really good. Well, that means a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. That, 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 uh, yeah, that's the best compliment you could have paid me. So the week after it premiered, Beanie Feldstein texted me that she was at uh, the airport in Los Angeles, and the, the employees at the airline she was flying said, yeah, Steve still works here. He's still here. And they, they also sort of said, like, you guys did a good job portraying him. So like that, that was nice to hear too. But yeah, I was, I was really honored to get to be, you know, a part of that show and that incredible cast and, and crew and, you know, everything Ryan Murphy does, I'm a fan of. So uh, thank you for your kind words. Hey, no problem, man. And thank you for joining us this morning. Again, the NFL pile on every Wednesday. Um, you can check it on Amazon prime video. Uh, Tara, man, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, Brad. Have a wonderful day. Take care, brother.